Hi, my friend. My name is Greg Green. Greg for short. What brought me to North Dakota? It's an interesting story. Originally from Nigeria in West Africa. Uh, I lived in so many places. My last point of call was Dallas, Texas. I got a call from my old professor, a mentor of mine, who was wondering what I was doing in Dallas. I haven't explained myself. I said, I got, a, got an interesting, exciting opportunity for you. Check out Williston, North Dakota. So I did. I took my wonderful car, which my friend thought wasn't going to make it. Drove about 30 hours from Dallas to Williston, October 7th. So here I am. So Greg, have you had good experiences in Williston, North Dakota? What what's what's the vibe and the feel of, of the Bakken? One of the things I first observed was that this place is treeless, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> you scarcely can find trees. I said, wow, this is interesting. Hey, anyway, hey, then uh, uh, I came in October. By the time it was already November, it was already very cold. I said, wow, this is interesting. Even in Cleveland, when I lived in Cleveland by the lake, it wasn't this cold during that time. I was also told that uh, this year was actually we had a mild winter. It wasn't that bad. So maybe they wanted to ease me into the system. Yeah, the people are very nice. Uh, everybody's actually very nice, yeah. I was wondering when I read the documentary about how at the point in time there were some kind of uh, miscurrent, you know, doing all manner of stuff. I said, it didn't look so to me. I didn't see any. I, haven't, I don't, when I look the news, there's no bad news here. If you listen to local news, except you're listening to CNN, <laughs> they give bad news, I don't know. Well, one of the things I've discovered in this place is, uh, first of all, the, the, the wages for, even the merest minimum work here is way higher than you can even get anywhere. You know, so that's the minimum wage is, is high. You know, it's not because the government mandated it so, just because the economy, you know, just it's a market driven situation. You know, that's number one. Uh, it's a place where it's hard work is valued. You know, if you're not in the oil industry, you have to be in the farming industry. You know, even if you're not in these two industries, you have to service these two industries. So you got to be hard working. And hard work always pays. You know. Now, Greg, do you want to give any shouts out to anybody, friends and family? All my friends in Dallas, Houston, Cleveland, New York. New York City! West Coast, I won't forget you too, you know, LA area. You know, Jesus loves all of you, let me tell you that. Yeah, I want to introduce my friend David, whom I met at uh, Half Quest, used to be called Command Center. Yeah. Um, you can actually, if he wants to shoot his camera over there, it goes to the train, and you can actually come across the street. Higher quest. So, with that said, it's um, it's not what you do; it's how you do it. You know, um, me, for personally. North Dakota has been good to me, but it's not what you do, it's how you do it. I'm done. New York City. Shout out to my son, David Kelly Robinson. Shout out to his mother, Venus Ketchum. Shout out to everyone in New York, you know. I love, I love New York. So that was my friend David, whom I met at the command center here. Also, you know, we Higher got quest. talking. Higher Quest. It used to be called Command Center. <laughs> they confused me a lot. I did the same thing. I did the same thing. Like I'm so used to calling Command Center. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But uh, uh, Greg, you want to give a, a sign off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.